Hi everybody, just wanted to do a quick review on the Claire Sonic, the Mia 2, and it's the one speed version, which um, I find works perfect for me. I'm using the sensitive head, I don't know if the camera's picking that up. It's the light blue, and um, so just a little bit softer than the regular one. The woman at Sephora had suggested taking that one. Uh, which I'm happy I, I done. I, I feel like it's doing a perfectly good job. Um, usually when I buy the replacement heads, I buy the little box that has two in them. You get a little bit of a savings if you're buying two. Um, and I replace them, they recommend every three months, so I've been replacing it every three months. Um, I know when I first was thinking about getting it, I'd seen the advertising in a magazine and you know, it doesn't give you that much information about it. So I went on YouTube and started checking out people's videos and a lot of people were talking about how when, you know, they first started using it, it started to break them out more and that was a little concerning to me because I am prone to breakouts and the cystic type of breakouts. So I was a little bit concerned, but most people said after the initial, you know, um, it's almost adjustment that their skin was going through that they they found that cleared up and their skin, you know, had never looked better. So I thought, okay, this is worth a try. Um, I was really curious about it. And the, the Mia 2 runs about, I think around in Canadian, around 139, 140, whatever, approximately. And um, so anyways, I said, okay, like, I, I'm sure I was, I, I felt I was sure I was going to like it anyways from the amount of reviews that I had checked out. And uh, like I said, okay, I thought... If I break out, I break out and we'll just move on from that after. But in the end, it didn't end up happening. Um, I just felt like I couldn't wait to wash my makeup off at night. I said, let me get my hands on that Mia and get this makeup off. And, you know, I do use a makeup remover first. And uh, at the time I was using wipes, now I'm using a balm. But at the time I was using wipes and then I would use a cleanser. And this is one that I've been loving with it. It's the Peter Thomas Roth Anti-Aging Cleansing Gel. And it's full of, you know, great little uh, antioxidants and gly uh, glycolic acid, salicylic acid, peach, lemon, lime, linden, um, grapefruit. So it's the only thing, it's, it's for all skin types except for sensitive. So, um, you know, but it's been working really great for me. I love the smell. It has a nice peachy peachy smell and um, you can see like this runs about $40 I guess at Sephora and I've been using for you know about the eight months that I've been using this and I'm only at halfway so I think if you break that down uh, per use it's very inexpensive because uh, you don't need that much especially when you're putting it on the uh, I dampen the brush head and I put some on I just sort of smooth that around and then apply it it lathers really nice and my skin doesn't feel tight or overstripped and it does have a, you know, I feel like over this time that I've been using it, I feel like there's a brightening effect to it. And hey, anything that could give you a little bit of anti-aging <laughs> effects is perfect with me. So, uh, oh yeah, it comes with a great little charger, very easy to use. You just attach, it's fully waterproof, you can use it in the shower, that part is great. And a charge, for me, if I, I use it once a day, and a charge will last two weeks. It takes, it could run like, what, I think it says 18 hours, I think the first time that you charge it. Anywhere between 12 and 18 hours it'll take to, to charge, but if it holds up for a whole two weeks, I mean, that's great. I've taken it on vacation, and I hadn't even not needed to bring the charger with me. I brought it, but I, I never needed to use it, so... That's when I, that was the first time I tested it. Oh, it was a whole two weeks, you know. I made more of a note of it. Anyways, um, yeah, that's about all I wanted to say. But if you're thinking of trying it, I know it's a bit, you know, costly. Um, but I can't imagine that you wouldn't be happy with it, personally. Um, it just cleans your skin. I, I noticed my pores were reduced and little fine lines and little things that were just not quite a pimple, not just sitting under the skin. It was like never came to the surface. And this over time, I noticed like, oh, that little thing that was there was started to go away. So I was really happy with that. And I know for me, I will use this for as long as they're making it. If this one dies eventually, I will definitely buy another one. It will be part of my skin routine. 
forever. Like a few products that I have in my regime that I would not let go of, this is definitely one of them. So anyone that's thinking about getting this a shot, I doubt you'll be, you know, unhappy with it. I would really be surprised. You just let it do the work. Don't apply it too um, harshly to your skin. Sort of let it glide over over your face. This is doing all the work for you, and you're, you know. I don't think your skin can get this clean with a washcloth or using your hands or just even a little scrub, a uh, manual scrub. Uh, to me, it'll never be as clean as that. So anyways, hopefully this is helpful and uh, you might want to give it a try. So thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.